Hey, what's up, guys? This is Ron Ricker Galario again. Uh, and if you guys new in this channel, I'm a star processing tech for a while, and then now I'm trying to um, get a certification or uh, instrument specialist. And this is just one of um, other certification that I'm trying to get. Uh, another two of them is the CHL and uh, uh, endoscopic reprocessor. But I want to take this one first, and uh, CHL to be followed to follow. Um, so now it's almost 8 o'clock, uh, 7.55, I'm gonna go in in a bit. Um, so I tried to uh, study as much, I, I bought the, the the book, I don't even know what book it was. And I tried to read them, and um, I think, I don't know how many cha chapters was in that book, probably more than 10. But I was only, I only read like 3, three chapters, 3 or 4 chapters maybe. And most of the most of the information in that book is i'm already aware of except there's like more good information to take in so if you are um if you're really into sterile processing or if you think you're gonna have a sterile processing uh career or you're gonna make it a career i suggest that um, you you take that um the exam and then um uh get that book it's it's very informational uh good a lot of good stuff in there especially if you're working in a surgery center it will give you a lot of uh, good information um to learn more to do a a, a a a proper process um so yeah um i guess you just have to pay more attention um so um i'll talk to you guys after the test <laughs> So I just finished. This is uh, 10 a.m. right now. I just passed the the instrument specialist exam. Um, it was it was easy to be honest with you guys. I guess it's because I I usually join webinars and uh, listen to podcasts. That's probably why it was easier for me. And then they on this test they they show a lot of um um not very special instruments, but um. Not, not commonly used instruments pictures so um those helps me as well i think there's like 10 10 questions of them um the test was like 150 questions they give you two and a half hours i was able to finish in um 40 minutes and another 10 to go over um some questions that i uh flagged i flagged about like more than five maybe um and at the end, uh, it will tell you that uh, oh, you pass or fail, which I've seen on the screen that I pass. Um, I've asked the guy in the in the center if I could get a receipt, but they say they don't provide it, so I just have to wait uh, from the mail. All right, guys. So I just checked my email, and then it's actually there. Uh, congratulations, email, and it should be here. Uh, so I'm I am now a certified instrument specialist. <laughs> I didn't get to mention how was the testing procedure and how was the um the test throughout the test i just finished with my uh, by the way i just finished with my other job and then now i'm here at my uh, uh second job just waiting for the time so um by the way so when i get there at eight o'clock um so there's a lot of uh the other people uh, doing their tests um i'm not sure what type of test but uh, they are there um, i think multiple people are starting at eight o'clock um so we checked in um they gave us a locker put our stuff in there and gave us a key and um they requested for our uh, for my uh driver's license for identification and um they have me keep that um id and that's all i could keep and uh, they had me uh, remove my jacket because it was a uh, uh, puffy so I, they had me hang it and uh, keep my belongings in the locker. And uh, I, sat, I sat there for, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes, just like everyone else. It was, uh, I think it was eight of us over there and I was the last one to go in. So over there, they have you mask, masked up uh, throughout the time and they scan you for, um, for if for, they, they ran a metal detector on you. If you are having a weapon, uh, they make you, uh, 
pull up, pull up your sleeve, sleeve, and your uh, pants to show if you're having, if you have some maybe web weapon or uh, cheating materials. So I was the last one to go in and um, start my test. Uh, most of the tests are pretty, uh, pretty. For me, it seems really easy. Um, it was pretty much based all on my experience already. So if you are a uh, strong processing tech uh, trying to take the CIS, uh, go for it. I bought uh, I bought a, a book, but I didn't give I didn't even get to read it. I bought it in January. Uh, I scheduled the exam, but um, I I didn't even get the ex do the exam until today i didn't even get to read the whole book i think i only read um read uh, uh three three chapters out of i don't know more than 10 chapters so that means um it's not really necessary you can really you can challenge it but the book is really informational so it's it's a good uh it's it's also a good thing to read it if you, if you have time or if you like the test was two and a half hours um 150 questions when I hit um, I think almost 100 I took a break um, just a quick break and I always take a break whenever I'm taking uh, taking an exam that way my my brain would uh, refresh so I just walked in walked out and continue the test so by the time I was finished um, it was uh, the testing throughout the test was 40 minutes and I was out of the building uh, exactly 10 a.m. So I probably I probably stayed there, I probably stayed there for like an hour before the I um, finally was able to take the exam. If you guys are trying to do it, I suggest that you guys do it. And it's only what hundred twenty five dollars I think to take the exam. And especially if you're trying to be in the management, this is a a, a pro. Cause um like when you apply for a benefit um a management position usually they they they, they require that cis uh cer and also chl so now i'm i'm not i'm not sure yet but i'm going to challenge either cer or chl um i hope you guys uh, keep uh, supporting my journey and I, I thank you guys for watching and i will see you next video you want the best of my heart you just gotta see the good